Okay, so here we are at Disney's Polynesian Village Resort, and we are staying in the Rarotonga Building, which is right next to the Great Ceremonial Hall in room 3808, which is a handicap accessible room. We do not require this. It's just what was assigned to us. So that probably just means they didn't need it for another guest. So I'm gonna take you on a little tour of our standard view room. Here is the TV all loaded up with our personalized welcome. Now these rooms were recently refurbished to be a Moana theme and I think that they did an amazing job. Um, there's a lot of floor space in here as you can tell. Uh, I think that might be a little bit more floor space than you get in a, a traditional room because it is an accessible room but I cannot say 100% for sure. But let's take a look at some of the amenities you will find in every single room. So I love the lamps that have integrated USB and uh, traditional outlet charging, or outlets charging, whatever you need it for. The details in this room are just fantastic. This is a king bed room. Sometimes you can get a room with two queens, um, but it's just Danny and I on this trip, so no problem to only have the king bed. Um, there's a lovely detailed headboard. I don't know if you can see all of that detail. Throw pillows, lots of space, and I love this cozy little sitting area. I can see myself going to get a coffee from Kona Cafe in the morning and sitting here. And if you take a look at a lampshade, uh, you can actually see lots of different characters from Moana represented in the light shade, which I think is really wonderful. And of course, the stars of the show, uh, Maui is right here and Moana is right here in this beautiful, beautiful artwork. Um, before we take a look at the rest of the room, let's go take a look at the balcony, which is just gorgeous. So we are on the third floor here, which does mean we get an exterior balcony. It's actually quite roomy, it has a lot of space. And just to kind of orient you where we are, um, right back there is the Oasis pool. And I believe right over there, yep, is, oops, that's the great ceremonial house right over there. Not that little building, that's a different building, but that building right through there. So really, really convenient, centrally located near the bus stops, near the monorail. Amazing. Pull that closed. Now let's go take a look at what else. Coffee station coffee, tea, everything you need with a Keurig, and hey, hey's there. Some more beautiful artwork with the ice bucket and very nice. The fridge is actually in this nice little cabinet, so it's hidden away, but still really accessible. There's also a lot of closet space in here. It's kind of hard to show it entirely. We've already put our backpack in there, but there's a full length mirror, safe, lots of shelves, big open shelves, could store like carry-on suitcases, purses, all of your purchases from your trip. Then again, more shelving in here, some hanging space, some more hanging space. There is a steamer in case you need that and some extra bedding. And then if you open up the other side, hangers, a luggage rack, drawers, the whole shebang. Really, really nice. Subscribe to WDW Magazine and escape to Walt Disney World every single month. This large format glossy magazine is filled with content, not ads. Subscribe now and don't miss another month of magic. Now this is the bathroom. This is probably the area that differentiates the most from a traditional room. Um, the sink, there's double sink, which is nice. I think that that is pretty standard. There is a blow dryer down there, um, but you'll see when I turn around, it is very spacious in here. You've got your H2O soap, your body lotion, some mouthwash, very nice. Hey, um, and a lot of area in here for towels. And if you're like me, I bring a lot of sunscreen and stuff. There's a lot of good storage up there for that. Some beautiful artwork, but as you can see, the floor area in here is huge, really great. Um, and the shower is actually a roll-in shower. So this little piece of plastic here, uh, I think you can actually roll right over it if you need to, or if you don't need to roll in, if you can walk in, it's a no barrier to entry. 
And if you need to sit down in the shower, really easy. You just flip that little um, bench down, put it up if you don't need it. Again, nice H2O plus amenities here, shampoo, conditioner, body wash, and a uh, double shower with a removable head and the larger head up top. Oh, there is one more thing I totally forgot to show you in the seating area, which is the couch that pulls out, but it adds another sleeping area to the space. So yeah, beautiful, beautiful room.